Yeah, I never met someone like you. Oh, to your mama, she a blessing. There's nothing that I would undo. We'll never hit zero. Okay, lunatics. I'm going to put myself through it. I feel like some self-torture today. We're going to watch these two dingleberries. Oh, look at his face. God, his face sucks. And she looks... Oh, God. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's watch them. Let's watch the Muslim, I'm doing quotation marks, couple, quotation marks, visit an actual Arab street in Bangkok, Thailand. It's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be award-winning cinematography. I can't wait. My expectations are really, really high. Okay, let's go. Oh, I almost made the mistake of watching it at normal speed. No, 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 no. You won't get me this time, Ferdy. 1.25 for you, madam. Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another vlog in Bangkok, Thailand. We are on our way to Arab Street here in Bangkok. Yes, that's right, Arab Street. Bangkok has a district that is full of halal and Arab restaurants, Arab-owned markets and shisha cafes. We were in the mood for shisha and decided to check out more of the area and we but are going wait, to take you guys... But wait, wait, Salah, oh, greatest of all husbands. You have a wife with really bad health and really bad lungs. I thought she was giving up the shisha on her her health journey you are not being complicit are you in uh, making her not making her um assisting her in her really bad habit of smoking the shisha you wouldn't be doing that because you are very concerned for your beautiful gorgeous new new bride that you would not encourage her to be going to such places with us so we hope you will enjoy the video guys we won't so arab street is located in the sukhumvit area between soy 3 and soy 5. basically when you start to arrive on arab street you see a bunch of stores with arabic writing and a bunch of shawarma shops of course a lot of places are nestled in an alleyway and we were looking for somewhere to eat and smoke shisha and a lot of the shops remind me of places in Kuwait just very flashy looking gold lettering and of the sort and there is Salah my handsome husband looking like a tourist himself Ew. but they have halal I was so excited to see oh we are exactly one minute and 39 seconds into this video and we're at the food section I'm gonna guess that for the next 12 minutes we're gonna be talking about food looking at food Food. She's gonna be food. Halal, and to see feta cheese, to be honest, and olives, and hummus, and just some foods that we were missing. Mm -hmm. The menu had like a melange of Arabic, Thai, and Indian. Oh, don't care. Cheese naan, and we ended up don't care. drink. I got a singa soda water, and Salah got a don't care. talk about Arabic food. We ended up ah, getting. Ah, that's what we are waiting for. Let's go back. Ew, ew, no. Fast Chris, forward. Go, 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 go. Ew. All right, that's... I know. Ah, sweet nostalgia. This isn't even the same amount of rice that she would probably get served when she's in Kuwait. It's almost like they're ordering more in Kuwait. And Thailand has a more reasonable expectation of what a single or a couple of people would eat as far as a serving of rice would go. Even in an... Uh, a Middle Eastern restaurant. But let's see the six or seven other dishes that they've ordered to go with this. Let's see. For all that talk about did. Arabic food, we ended up getting some Indian food. I cannot resist a good palak oh. paneer, which I got. And Salah got some kind of white beans with mutton curry dish. I got white basmati rice, and he got some saffron rice. And the food was... So the rice isn't even for both of them. That's just her rice. Wow, she's gonna be popping out of her shirts in no time. It's amazing. So after we had a wonderful dinner, it was actually very delicious by the way, and the service here was amazing. We headed over to the shisha part, which was just a few feet away. We have a separate lounge area, which is usually dimly lit. They turned on the light for a few moments so we could order something off the menu to drink. And here I am, Dan. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, let's go back. Into a We've got to watch it I turned again. on the light for a few moments go so we could order something off the go menu grandma. to drink. And Shake here I am everything. dancing to a Saudi Arabian concert that was on TV. Someone was playing the oud. So I just wanted to show you around a bit. No. Close and just. No. But sometimes. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Why? Why are we seeing so much of it? We get it. It's it's dimly lit. There's lots of tables. Literally nobody else is around as per the huge. Um, I don't know how you guys have the knack. Is it that there's lots of people when you get there and they just clear out um, because you do the two biggest freak shows in the place or you just know how to find a really remote, unpopular, I know why, it's probably the worst shisha bar in Thailand because it's the cheapest with the worst service and the least hygiene. It could also be the best, but usually people go to the best places and it's crowded. Maybe, maybe Thailand people aren't, the people of Thailand aren't really that big on the shisha. Maybe that's why it's quite empty. Who knows? But they seem to be able to find empty places quite easily. Not bored. Board, board, board. Yeah, I don't have a whole one. Board. Sitting in the shisha cafe and restaurant, the streets, as we looked around, were just alive to say the least. You could smell a different myriad of foods cooking. There's people walking in all directions. You have to be careful not to run into anyone. There are also a lot of vendors selling all different kinds of things you can imagine. Uh, more traditional. Now, foodie, I know you love to use your big university words like myriad and um, a variety of things. Why don't you tell us what a variety of those things are? Stop and ask someone. It could be little charge keys. It could be little, um, where did you get your little hat from? Like she just, she looks at a picture and just describes it and throws in a big word to make it sound like a travel vlog. Tell us where they're from. Are they handcrafted? Are they homemade? Are they imported? Talk to one of the vendors. Maybe they speak English. Maybe you could get their backstory. How did they get into the market? What, how long have they been there at that stall? Find an inter interesting stall. Find someone to fucking talk to. This is boring as shit. Arab restaurants as well um, around the streets and people just selling everything you know bracelets keychains things that they made uh, by hand can I tell you one I want to play see Nice. Um, love, I think you might need a smaller one. He has fairly dainty hands and very narrow wrists. So I don't think that he needs a bigger one. I think he actually probably needs a smaller one. Have you got any smaller sized ones there? Looks cool. Yeah. No, I said he has a 150 or 52. 150 for two? Yeah. I want to see this. <laughs> nice. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. Nice. Do you like this one? Nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe this one for you. I think. These colors. Oh, yeah. Next XL. Something real stretchy. I like this one. Super stretchy. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. That looks it's super It's a beautiful cool. tie handmade from this lady. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> it is? You have credit. What the, was that? Why did he give the lady with the face mask or a niqab? I don't, I'm not sure what it was. And the thick money. And then the lady that was actually selling the goods. What was that? Wait. I'm so confused. What was that? <laughs> so this lady in the green shirt is the one selling the stuff. She is obviously Thai. What was that weird interaction with the lady at the back? This lady here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Why did he just give her money and she walked off? What happened? That was weird. 
It is? Pedicure you have pedicure? pedicure? Yeah. Ah. And how much for this one? Uh, uh, like how much? Nine hundred. Too much. <laughs> Not expensive, so much, right? Yeah. Check on. Yemen. Oh, Yemen. Oh. Fast forward, boring. Boring. Really? Yeah. Boring. <laughs> yeah. Boring. Uh, one hundred fifty. No, I don't do anything. Because he turned 60 and he accepted that. <laughs> it's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this man is six foot four. God, he's a dickhead looking thing, isn't he? And this girl is five, woman, I should say, is five foot one. Why is she taller than him when they're sitting down on the same seat? It's because her ass is giving her an extra inch or five. They are the same height seated, if not bigger. And there is a very big disparity between their actual standing heights. That's incredible. <laughs> I love the cook. <laughs> okay. I'm getting so bad. I'm getting so good. <laughs> I can't feel the water over here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting wet, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Pete and Michael Tyrant here. And as you saw. the most boring two individuals in the whole wide world that was a abs, that was a nothing vlog why do they even make these oh my god okay guys like comment subscribe that was an absolute shit show and now at least i know where that stupid hat that she's been wearing is coming from it's not a bowler hat it's Sally's stupid granddad hat mystery solved Okay, guys, bye. Oh, to your mama, she a blessing. There's nothing that I would undo. We'll never hit CS news on you. Always trying to show you something new to you. Only want to treat you right. Never leave your side. Always on my mind, I memorize, fantasize everything about you.